Hi guys, I hope you're all doing great. I am going to be doing some calculations today. Again, I'll show you how to calculate the required amount of fabric for a flat Roman. Now, Roman shades, or if you call it Roman blinds. Now, a flat Roman blinds or shades is essentially a flat piece of fabric. No tucks, no pleats, no gathers, just a flat piece of fabric. Okay, so before we start our calculations, we need to establish some measurements. Now, the first measurements that we want to establish are the length and width. Now, we need the finished width. And the finish width is the width that we finished with. And we also need the finished length. The finished length is the length that we finish with. Okay. The cut width is the width that we use to determine along with the cut length to determine how much fabric we require. Now, in the previous video, I explained that FW means finished width in the trade. CW means cut width. FL, finished length. CW, CL, cut length. Okay, so we've established that our finished width will be 48 inches. Now to find our cut width, which we will be using to do the calculations, it, we will have to add the finish width plus the seam allowance okay the seam allowance is that piece that's left over that little end that lets over that's left over after you've stitched your seam so we will need to add our finished width plus our seam allowance and our finished width is 48 inches plus our seam allowance, which is an inch. That gives us 49 inches. Okay, so 49 inches is our cut width. Let's circle that. We will be using that in our calculations. Okay, now let's look at the length. Our finished length will be 62 inches. So that's the length we'll finish with when the Roman blind is finished being made or finished being constructed, okay? Our cut length equals our finished length plus our hems. Now, usually you will leave uh, about four inches at the top and four inches of the at the bottom for your hems depending on how you want to finish off your hem you can always adjust your numbers accordingly okay but here we will use the finish length which is 62 inches and we'll add the the hems which is eight inches as i said for the top for the bottom depending on what you're doing and that equals 70 inches now that's our cut length 70 inches so we will be using our cut width 49 inches and our cut length 70 inches in order to do the calculations for our fabric requirement now let's establish the width of the fabric most common you'll find 54 inches or if you get a double width it might be 118 inches but you'll just adjust your calculation your numbers according to what you're working with okay here we're using fabric width that's 54 inches okay so now we can start our calculations because of, we know our cut width our cut length and we know our fabric width so what we want to establish next is how many widths of fabric it will take to make this Roman blind. And basically, when we say width of fabric, we're talking about from end to end across the fabric. Okay, how many 
wits will we need to make a Roman blind that's 49 inches cut width. So number of fabric widths required equal our cut width, which is 49 inches divided by our fabric width. And what's our fabric width? Our fabric width is 54 inches. So it's 49 divided by 54 inches. And that equals to 0 0.91. 0 0.91. So essentially we need less than a width of 54 inches. However, we can't go into the store and buy less than a width. So we round that up to one. So we will need one width of fabric. Then we go on to use our length to see how many yards of fabric we will need down. So we went across the fabric. Now we're going down. How many yards do we need? Our fabric required equals to cut length, which is the 70 inches that we established up here, times the one width, which is 70 inches. 70 times one is 70 inches, okay? So we take that 70 inches. Now, we need 70 inches of fabric. But as I usually say, we don't go into the store and ask for fabric in inches. We ask for fabric in yards. So we take that 70 inches of fabric that we need and divide it by 36. Why do we divide by 36, you may ask? Because there are 36 inches in a yard. There are three feet in a yard. There, there are 12 inches in one foot, three feet <laughs> in one yard. Okay? And so that is why we divide by 36 inches. And we get 1.94 yards. So we need 1.94 yards of fabric to make a uh, Roman blind that's going to be finished with 48 inches and finish length 62 inches. Okay, so what do we do when we have 1.94 yards? We round it up. We never round down because we don't want to be short on, on fabric at all. Okay, so we round up and we go for two yards of fabric and that is how you will do your calculations okay so if you notice in this example we needed less than a width of fabric so what would we do if we need more than a width of fabric we would do the same thing let's change our numbers just to do an example okay so instead of using 48 inches Let's use 68 inches. So our cut width would be 68 inches plus the one inch for our seam allowance, half inch on each side of our Roman blind. And that will give us 69 inches. 69 inches. Now we'll leave the length as it is at 70 inches. So now our blind is almost square okay so we have 69 inches for our cut width and 70 inches for our cut length so this is what we do our fabric width is still 54 inches okay so we will then need to change these number down here so our cut width is now 69 inches and our fabric width is 54 inches. So what do we do? We divide 69 inches by our fabric width, which is 54 inches. And we will get, let's, I could do, let's do some long division up here. Let's just equal the little space up here and do some long division. 
So it's going to be 69 divided by 54. How many times can we get 59, um, 54 out of 69? One time. So we put the 54 down here. 4 from 9 equals 5. And 5 from 6 equals 1. So we know we're going to end up with a point here, okay? And we will add a zero here. How many times can we get 54 from 150? I think it's about two times. Two fours are eight, two fives are 10. So that's 108 from 150. We take one from there. We have four left. We carry our one over here. We have 10, we take eight from 10, we have two, and then we have 42 left over. We could go on and on and on, but this is where we're gonna stop it because we know now that we need at least 1.2, 1 1.2 widths of fabric. So we will put our 1.2 here, okay? So now we need 1.2 two yeah, um widths we need 1.2 widths of fabric instead of one width of fabric okay fabric is only sold in full widths right across so we can't use 1.2 widths because fabric is only sold in full widths so we have to round that up from 1.2 to two widths of fabric. So we will need two widths of 54 inch fabric for our calculation. So here we will take this two widths that we need and we will multiply our length, which is 70 inches by two. So we multiply over 70 inches by 2 and we get 140. So we have 100, 2 7 is 14, 140 inches. So we need 140 inches of fabric. But fabric's not sold in inches. So we go ahead and take that 140 and we divide that by. 36. Okay, let's erase that. So 140 divided by 36. Okay, so let's see if we can fit in some more long division. So we'll take 140 and we'll divide this by 36. Okay, so how many times can we get 36 from 140? Okay, I think it's about three times. So three sixes are 18. Take, carry your one over the three. And three threes, nine, and one ten. So that's 108. Subtract that from 140. We'll borrow one from our four here. Leaving behind three, when we carry that one over to the zero, zero is the, the, the units, and that one is the tens. So 10 plus zero equals 10. So it's eight from 10 gives us two. Zero from the three that's left over the four here gives us three. One from one, one. So we have 32 left over. We know we're going to have a point here. And where we have a point, we add a zero down here. 36 into 320. It's going to be about three to see about eight. So we put our eight here and we say eight sixes are 48. Eight, we carry the four over here. Eight threes are 24. 
24 plus this four that we carried, it's gonna be 28. And we take that away. So we're gonna take a one from where two in the middle here. It's the tens we carried over, so that's 10. Eight from 10, that's two. And we can't take eight from one, so we'll have to take one from over here where the three is and it leaves two. Take it over here with this one, it becomes 11. So eight from 11 leaves three, and then two from two leaves zero. So we have, we have th 32 left here. So we know we're gonna have, cause we just got, eight 36s out of 320 and here we have 320 again so what are we going to have we're going to have another eight so that's 3.888 maybe 88888 anyways we will need 3.88 yards of fabric for a, a roman blind that's finished with 68 inches and finished length 70 inches okay but what do we do when we have the point like this we round up so we will need four yards of fabric now because we only needed like 1.2 widths you will definitely have enough fabric left over so you can make yourself some throw cushions to tie your decor together so this is how you calculate your fabric for your flat roman blinds now if you need to put in any tucks or any pleats going down on the fabric all you will need to do is to put in those incremental measurements on your length so you would add them to your length because if you're putting in pleats going down along your fabric like this it's going to affect the length so you will have to add the, the number of inches that you need for the pleats or the tucks on the length. And then just go ahead and do your calculation. Okay, so if you have any questions, please go ahead, ask your questions. Thanks for your comments and your feedback. They help a lot in making videos to make sure that it's actually reaching somebody and helping somebody. Okay, guys, thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for just your support in general. So, and for those of you who haven't subscribed, please subscribe and please hit the notification button so you can be notified of new videos now you take care now and do some long division see you in the next video